Golden Powerball ticket. The winning numbers selected last night match one ticket purchased in South Carolina. It's an estimated $400 million jackpot. And ABC's Steve Osinsami is there in Lexington, South Carolina with the latest. It's a good morning for somebody there, Steve. Good morning to you. It it sure is a good morning for someone, Robin. They're having a party here at this store behind me. They're cheering people as they walk in. And when you walk in the store, there's this nice little greeting on the front entrance that I had them print me a copy of. If you bought your Powerball tickets for last night's drawing at our store, you better check those numbers twice. Good advice. Let's play Powerball. These were the six magic numbers overnight. Seven, ten. 35, 32, 22, 19. And they've left one, just one lucky winner in Lexington, South Carolina, $399.4 million. The players here can remain anonymous if they want to. They have to come and claim the ticket, but they can remain anonymous. This is a life-altering event. This is a lot of zeros, and someone's life changes exponentially instantly. Twelve other players also struck it rich from five other states, matching five numbers, winning $1 million apiece. Jackpots as big as half a billion dollars once seemed impossible, but there have been four in just the last year. These giant paydays are thanks to higher ticket prices and more media attention. The country's other nationwide lotto says next month it too will cash in on the goodness. The Mega Millions Lottery, available in 43 states, plans to change its rules, improving the odds of winning any prize from 1 in 40 to 1 in 15. That means second place winners who once won 250 grand would now win at least a million. Hardly jump change. This station says that this ticket could be sold anywhere. It sits right next to Interstate 20 and an airport. Plus, this isn't like Florida. The winner can remain completely anonymous. Robin. Oh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Steve, mm -hmm. thanks.